Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rabbish Rahim Sabri wa Yasir Liamri wa Hululub Zatam Nilisan Yasrahu Kabu. All admiration due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has created us from one man and women, then has held us to speed all over the world. Without the mercy of Allah, we cannot do anything successful. So we have to depend on Allah. My dear students and viewers, I think you are in a tensive mood because of coronavirus pandemic as your face-to-face -face class activities have been postponed for this reason. Keep believing Allah and Allah will help us to overcome this situation. Dear students, today I will discuss a passage and this passage has been taken from Unit 12 and this unit deals with environment and nature and most of the students you have already known about environment the things what we have around us are made of our environment so the main elements of our environment are soil water air humans animals and plants all these things are inter interconnected if one thing is changed the, the whole environment will be affected. So we should make the environment clean. And among these elements of the environment, one is element is discussed in, in lesson one. And the element is water. You know water is called life. Life, what is life? Rudward Kipling said life is too short to be little so we should keep our life workable and to keep our environment clean and at first look at the blackboard i have written some words for you and i have written the meaning of the words so every student take your book now let's start our reading passage. Unit 12, Lesson 1. The title is extracted from Samuel Taylor Coleridge's famous poems, The Rhyme of the Ancient Marina. And this, piece, this poem deals with a story about a sailor. And the passage begins with the four lines from the famous poem, The Rhyme of the Ancient Marina. Water, water everywhere. That means there was water everywhere. And all the boats did shrink. The, from the line we can understand that there was water everywhere but the sheep remained standstill. Water, water everywhere. The line has again been told. If any line is told in two times by this line we can understand the importance of the thing nor any water to drop. That means there was water everywhere, but the sailors could not drink the water. Now let's start reading the passages. The passage begins for this poem, a ballad. Everybody look at the blackboard. I have written the meaning of the Ballad. Ballad means a poem that tells a story usually in four lying stanzas. In Bangla, I have written four lines. Chinte na ki shonar chile kudiram ke chinte rudho shashe pran dilo ze mukto batash chinte. And from this line, we get the story of kudiram. And Bellat is discussed in this way. Narrates. Narrates means to tell. The harrowing sea boys 
Harrowing. Harrowing means terrible. Sea boys. Boys means a journey by the sea. Of an old mariner. Mariner means sailor who at one point of his journey did not have any water to drink because of a cars. Cars means making something bad happen. Here, from this line, we can understand that the sailor held in a great trouble. He, at one point, he had enough water around him, but he could not drink any drop of water because of his cars. Cursed or not, either cursed or not, we know, we know, we can understand how important drinking water is in our life. That means we know how the important of water is. We know we cannot survive. We know that we cannot live without it. That means we cannot stay on earth without water. In fact, two-thirds of our body, that means most of the part of our body is made of water, made up of water. By this line, we can realize the importance of water. The most part of our life is de dependent on water. Not for nothing. Not for nothing means actually. Is it said that means actually that the other name of water is life. That means another name of water is life. Is there a crisis in our time? with regard to access. Access means entrance in clean drinking water. By this line, we can understand that there is a lot of crisis in access to drinking water. That means most of the time we cannot get pure water to drink. The United Nations in a meeting, meeting means assembly, on the eve on the eve of means at the outset the new millennium millennium means a period of a thousand years in this line the sentence means that the united nation expresses the importance of water identified identified means indicate detect detect the drinking water problem. That means if the United Nations identified the drinking water problem as one of the challenges for the future. It will be a great challenge in future to getting pure drinking water. Drinking pure water will be number one challenge. But do we need to worry about the problem? That means, do we have any worry about the problem as ours? Ours means our country is a land of rivers. That means we have enough, we have a lot of rivers in our country. We have plenty of rainfall. We, we have many rainfalls in our country. Besides, without that, we have a sea in our backyard too. In near our country, there is a sea. The name of the sea, the Bay of Bengal. In spite of having many sources of water, do we have any worry to get drinking water? Today is enough. I will take the next class on these topics. And you will try to practice, to read these passages and to capture the word meaning. Vocabulary. You must need a lot of vocabulary. We, you cannot get a good marks without having a vocabulary. So concentrate on your mind reading vocabulary and reading English. Today is enough. Thank you. Assalamualaikum.